welcome back to the Knowledge Academy. Imagine being able to manage a library of books with just a few lines of code. Sounds amazing, right? Stick around because today we're going to do just that, step by step. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss our updates. Let's get started. In our series, we've covered variables, data types, operations, strings, lists, tuples, sets, dictionaries, conditionals, loops, and functions. Today, we'll use these to build a simple library management system. Ready to code along? Let's do it! Type this in your editor. Great, now let's move on to adding books to our library. We'll create a function to add books. This function will take three parameters, title, author, and year. Ready? Let's type it together. Write this down. Now let's add a book to our library. Type this command to see it in action. You should see a confirmation message. If you did, awesome! If not, double check your code. Next, we'll create a function to view all books in our library. Follow along and type this in your editor. Let's write this function together. Now call the function to see all the books you've added. Type this. You should see a list of all your books. Great job! Finally, let's add a function to search for a book by title. This will help us find books quickly. Ready? Let's code it. Type this function. Now let's search for a book. Type this command. If you see the book details, your search function works perfectly. If not, check your code for any typos. And there you have it. We've created a simple library management system using the Python concepts we've learned. This is just one example of how you can combine these building blocks to create useful programs. Thank you for coding along with me. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the Knowledge Academy for more in-depth tutorials and programming tips. See you in the next video.